Hi, BookTube. Today I'm going to make a review of Mortal Kombat by Jeff Rovin, which is the novelization uh, of the uh, video games. This book was published uh, in 1995 in the lead up to the release of the 1995 Mortal Kombat movie. And yeah, <clears throat> this will be my probably, this will probably be my only contribution to uh, a reading event started by another booktuber called uh, Criminali. Um, the, uh, the, uh, of, of a reading event called Garb August, where booktubers are encouraged to read what is what he refers to as trash literature. And this book definitely qualifies as trash literature because it's a movie tie-in and it's got a step back cover with seven Mortal Kombat characters in it. So yeah, there you go. Uh, this book has a, this book has some sentimental value to me because uh, I've had it since the mid nineties when it came out. Uh, I was a schoolboy back then. Um, I probably shouldn't have been reading it because Mortal Kombat is not for, is not for 10 year olds to 12 year olds. <laughs> My dad hated Mortal Kombat. Um, so, but I have it. And uh, now, I'm not going to rate this book because I did enjoy reading it, but it's definitely not quality literature. It's like reading a B-movie screenplay. There's a lot of cheese in it. Um, I had fun reading it. Now, I, I wish that... Here's the thing. I wish there could be more Mortal Kombat novelizations. Don't, get, don't misunderstand me. There is very little to build on from this book. So making a sequel to this one... Uh, not a good idea because the plot is chaotic absolutely chaotic um, so let's get into the plot uh, the first 40 percent of the book or so takes place in 480 CE and tells the adventure of the great Kung Lao a, fir a warrior monk I think who uh, enters the first Mortal Kombat tournament and is defeated by Goro, the four-armed monster or giant or Shokan, as they call him in the uh, in the games. Uh, first forty percent takes place in uh, early Middle Ages, and then the other sixty percent takes place in present day nineteen ninety five, where a whole bunch of uh, where a whole bunch of uh, characters of the Mortal Kombat games, their backstories are told, and then a series of random events throw them together. But it doesn't cover the it doesn't cover the tournament itself. It covers covers the lead up to to the tournament that is depicted in the 1995 film. Um, interestingly, the 2021 reboot film of Mortal Kombat took that idea of telling the backstories of various characters in the lead up to the tournament. So they took the 2021 reboot, took the idea of the novelization. And um, so, yeah, um, I, I, I enjoyed this book. Uh, I'll read you the epigraph, by the way. So this should, uh, so let's we'll, uh, add some color to this. The roots of a thing may be well balanced, but its branches may be deviant. The Ne Pien of Ko Hung, AD 320. I think that's an old Chinese text that I'm unfamiliar with. Um, one, other, one interesting thing about this book is it, uh, despite the uh, fictional multiverse story uh, well both things are fictional but despite this weird multiverse that uh, was created for the Mortal Kombat universe um, 
they actually tried to tie in uh, the mythology of the games with real Chinese mythology. And when I say real, I mean ancient stories, uh, stories uh, told from ancient China, the story of creation and so on, and the gods, etc. They tried to tie in Chinese mythology with Mortal Kombat mythology. I found that very interesting. Um, so, like I said, uh, this will be this will probably be my only contribution to Garb August uh, because I will be too busy reading uh, Archangel by Robert Harris uh, throughout the month of August. If I have time, there is one other book that I have my eyes on uh, in my library that can be considered trash literature. I might read that at the tail end of August and it will spill over into September, but at least I started it in August. So I'm trying to, so Ollie, I'm, I'm trying to play along here, but I'm a slow reader. What can, what can I do? But uh, yeah, there you go. That's my uh, contribution. Uh, this review of Mortal Kombat. Um, if you're a hardcore Mortal Kombat uh, fan, you might want a copy of one of these. Find it wherever you can on the internet. I'm not letting go of mine anytime soon because this is out of print. It's very rare. Okay, see you guys later.